Hi guys, my name is Bart Kamski and in this episode of Unreal Engine 4 minutes tutorial I'm going to show you how to create this, which is 3D Maze, out of this, which is 2D Texture. So let's get right into it. Okay, let's uh, first create, uh, delete this labyrinth I already have. This is basically third person template. I just make floor white and make it bigger and remove all the unnecessary stuff. And what we have, what we need here, first we need our texture. And I have it right here. This is, this texture you can download uh, under the video or you can create your own. This is really simple 16 by 16 black and white texture. Uh, but you already have it here. Let's save it. And let's create render target texture. So let's press right mouse button, uh, material textures, uh, render target. And let's just name it render target uh, and 16, maybe two at the beginning because there is second one and this engine cra crashed twice before. So I hope it doesn't crash this time. Okay. Um, by default, render target is 256 by 256. We need to change it to 16. This is important because our texture is 16. Okay, that's we already have it. And now we need to create material. So let's press right mouse button, material, and let's just name it new material. Let's be wild with it. Okay, and now we need to put our texture to our material. It will already create texture sample. And let's plug our RGB channel to emissive color and let's change it to parameter and name it texture. Here we go, apply. Okay, and now we need to create our blueprint that will create our maze. So let's create just actor and name it maze and let's open it. We, we're going to do it in uh, Beg in Play. We could do it in Construction Script, but we need to render our uh, texture to render target, and this could be done only uh, during the game. So we're gonna create, we're gonna do it in uh, Beg in Play. So let's press, press right mouse button and type render target and draw material to render target. Here we go. Let's plug it here and let's just select our material and plug it here and our render target and plug it here. And let's just put our maze in the level and press play. And now we can see that our texture, our render target is our texture is already rendered to the render target, at least here on miniature. And now we can start creating our maze out of it. So here at the begin play, after we draw a material to render target, let's type pixel. And there is read render target pixel. And this basically reads pixel by pixel our render target and gives back color value. So let's put our um, uh, render target here. And then we need to have four, two for loops. So let's just type for loop and have one and copy it and have another one. And let's plug it here. And uh, we need to have uh, we need to create variable size which is going to be 16 it is going to be integer and it is going to be 16 because our texture is 16 by 16 but since our uh, for loop starts with 0 it needs to end with 15 so we need to subtract 1 because uh, we need 16 values and sin since it starts with 0 it needs to end with 15, so it has 16 values. Okay, let's save. And that was the moment the engine crashed previously. I hope it doesn't this time. Okay. And now uh, we need to store 
color value of every pixel. So here it g gives us color value. So let's press right mouse button and promote this to variable and name it pixels. But this is single variable. We need to delete it and let's change it to array of variables because every every pixel uh, we need to store every pixel there and let's just add right here save compile didn't crash yet great okay uh, so now we render our texture to uh, render target then we store our uh, render target values in here and then we can go farther from it so let's create sequence and now we can get our pixel values and get for loop for each loop yes and since we we create a grid basically but this grid um, is stored row uh, row by row in one array we need to decode the array indexes to create grid once again and this is very useful uh, what you have to do is you use modulo and plug size here to get x values and you need to divide uh, integer again with size and you get y values and then you multiply it by uh, float and let's create a var float variable and name it uh, distance and i'm going to use uh, let's say it's 300 distance 300 so one cube is going to be three meters it is great for a big maze for our hum human character and we need to add mesh add static mesh component we could also add uh, mesh uh, instance but it's a it's a a bit just a bit more complicated for for this we can we can just use this let's split relative transform and let's pre split location and let's plug this here and this here and let's just add cube one meter cube maybe just painted black there is should be black material somewhere here yes there is and let's just now let's we created meshes by the grid 16 by 16 uh, so let's just find out if this works yes yes it works only the meshes are uh, scale is one meter by one meter so what we want to do we can connect distance to the scale so distance is 300 and we need to and uh, mesh then have to have scale free so we just divide a distance by 100 and plug it here it will change the flow to the vector and already we should be yes this this looks like the whole thing but this is just cube by cube without any without any space okay uh so now we need to figure out uh, which of these values is black and white. So let's break this. And actually, oh, I should break it. Wait, 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 wait. Break color. It's integer. It's byte. Well, it's not whatever let's do it like this let's just add all three channels and let's just print string them obviously you can save many more information uh, in the texture i am only using black and white but you can use blue red and also you know uh, different shades of it yeah so it's either zero or 253 
So whatever, whatever is bigger than zero. Let's just render it and what is below zero, uh, let's just not render it. Or is it other way around? I don't know, we can find out in a minute. What do we have here? Yes, it should be the other way around. What is black should be white and what is white should be black. So we just change this and Yep, it works. Almost, we just need to rotate our maze 90 degrees and put it here. And here we go. Here is our maze that look exactly like not exactly, it should be flipped, but you get the point. Okay, this is the way you can read uh, pixels from render target. You can also um, do it some different, different thing with it. Like for example, I render Team Sweeney. I can show you real quick because this is, this is a lot of fun, I hope. Oh, it's not rendering. Great! Don't do this to me now. Why it is not rendering? I know why. Because I am doing this in construction script, not in the event. But if I do it here, it's gonna render Tim Sweeney, but it's gonna take a while. Oh yeah. You know what? Let me just change one thing. Uh, yeah. I randomize the size of it. But this is the picture of Tim Sweeney and I did it. Uh, similar way so that's it that's how you can create 3d stuff based on 2d textures in unreal engine For, thanks guys for watching if you like this video please subscribe and leave a like maybe and i hope i see you next time bye